Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to Hayek Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is August the 15th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, our text this morning is going to be taken from two places. Actually, we're going to look at Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19, and then we're going to look at Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5. But before we look at our passages this morning, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever had someone in your life that you were really close to, I mean you deeply loved and cared about, and you had to say goodbye to them? Friends, that is absolutely the hardest thing I think that we can do as human beings. And when we have to say goodbye temporarily, we know that we're going to see them again, it's not quite so difficult to take. But when we have to say goodbye forever, and we truly know that we're not going to see this person again, it leaves a scar on the soul that is not easily mended, if mended at all. Now, in mentioning this, you were probably thinking about those whom you've had to say goodbye to, maybe a mother or a father, a cousin, an aunt or an uncle, a best friend, a wife or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a husband, and you can feel the pain in your heart knowing that you'll not see them again or you'll not see them for a very long time. And so you miss them, and that brings fond memories to you. It causes a warm place in your heart. Well, in understanding now what it is that you're feeling, I want to look at our text, and I want you to think about some things. Let's look at our text, Matthew chapter 28 and verse 20, which Jesus is saying to his followers as he is about to leave this earth. And he says, I want you to go and teach. I want you to teach people to observe all things that I have commanded you. I want you to pass those things on to them because I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Now, as we read this, can you sense the sadness that Jesus respects, that he understands, that he sees in these his followers? He's saying goodbye to them. They have walked with him for three years. When they woke up in the morning, Jesus was there physically. And though you and I think we know Jesus, even though you and I think that we love Jesus, we don't know what love the disciples had for Jesus. We don't know how they really knew Jesus, and we don't know Jesus in the same way. We don't love Jesus in the same way. And so here they are saying goodbye to one who was so close to them, and they're finding it very difficult to say goodbye. And yet Jesus is saying, you don't have to say goodbye. I'm never going to leave you. I will be there with you always. Look at Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things that you have. Now, conversation simply means your manner of living. So let your manner of living be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For as God has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. And so Paul is reminding us not to find joy, peace, love and satisfaction in the things that this world provides for us, but let those things be found in Jesus Christ. And so what we must do in reading these texts is we must remind ourselves of the relationship that the disciples had with Jesus and how we should envy that relationship. And that's what we look forward to as his followers. There's coming a day where we will meet him. We will sit down with him. We will come to know him in a way that this life has never provided for us. 
And although many of the things that we experience now in our hearts, in our spirits, the warmth of fellowship that we have with him, even though these things will be evident in that time, we will realize in that moment that we really never truly knew him. And so our heart burns with a desire and a passion to know him, and yet in many ways we're left empty, friends. But as the old saying goes, the heart grows fonder in absence. And as the Lord is absent from us in this day, in this time, during this life, the, the heart grows fonder in desiring him, in wanting him, in seeking him. And we do that through his word. We do that through prayer. And although these things are an aid to understanding him, to knowing him, to loving him, they are not him, friends. I mean, could you imagine the adventure that the disciples experienced for three years of their life and it all came to an end on that day and with broken hearts, they missed their friend. They missed their Lord. They missed their shepherd. And so, friends, I would ask you today, do you miss him? Do you long for his physical presence? He has given us his spirit, known as the comforter, to bring comfort to our hearts. But what a day that will be when we get to see him as he truly is. And so I guess I say all of that to say there are many times when we feel alone in this life, friends, but he said he would never leave us nor forsake us. He is there at the very mention of his name. There is no name on planet earth that brings warmth and comfort to the human soul like the name of Jesus, friends. There is life in that name. Won't you say that name even now? Jesus, 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 and watch your troubles fade away. Watch your problems disappear. There is power in the name of Jesus, friends, unimaginable power. And so if you're facing those dark and lonely times today, simply whisper the name of Jesus and watch peace flood through your soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a great gift. We don't have to wait once a year like the Jewish people did. We're not barred from the most holy place because we're not fit to enter. You see, friends, because we're not fit to enter, he welcomes us into the most holy of holies. And at the very whisper of the name of Jesus, devils flee hell shakes and your life can change all you must do is whisper his sweet and lovely name jesus hallelujah hallelujah well i love you friends i'm so grateful that you're here again this morning i'm so grateful trusting that the holy spirit is doing such a profound work in your life because I know what the word of God can do in a man's soul, in a woman's soul, if we will simply allow him, surrender to him, and welcome him into our lives. Because what he has done for me, he truly can do for you. Now, as he wills, and until next time, friends, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.